Let's bring in World Health Organization spokesperson, Dr. Margaret Harris. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Tell us, if you would, about the situation facing the Palestinian people right now, specifically people in hospitals there. Well, the hospital system, as Dr. Tedros, our director general, said, is really on its knees. Most hospitals have closed. We've got 60 percent at least not, you know, close their doors, not able to function. Of the 15 remaining hospitals, they're under massive strain. They can only provide really limited emergency services. They've got shortages of water, food, and, of course, fuel. And they are trying also to look after huge numbers of displaced people sheltering in them. And the, the vast majority of the population is now being displaced down to the south, where they there's only one third of the hospital capacity of the whole area of Gaza. So you've got huge numbers of people coming down, huge numbers of people with needs from injuries, but also from their chronic illnesses or women who need to give birth and hardly any capacity to have that. And at the same time, we've also got attacks on and in the close vicinity of running hospitals in the north, killing many and preventing safe access for the health staff, the injured and for other patients. I could go on. It's a it's a it's the most grim thing I've seen in my entire career. Uh, there have been reports that the IDF has said that they would go into the hospitals in some of the cases and get um, the, the most uh, vulnerable and take them to hospitals elsewhere. H have you heard that that is happening or it is in the works? Oh, we have not. But remember, the most vulnerable uh tiny babies, premature babies who need advanced support and specialist support to survive. Uh, Al-Shifa, the hospital that's now falling apart and under intense, uh, with intense fighting around it and many strikes and a lot of damage, is was the only place that could look after those babies. And they can't look after those babies. So where are they going to go? What kind of supplies are most in need at this point? Because we've heard just from some of your examples, some other uh, reporting, just about how dire and limited the medical supplies and electricity are at this point. Well, of course, they need fuel for the generators just to keep the electricity going, to keep all the machinery going, to keep the lights on so that when you're trying to operate on somebody who's got terrible injuries, you can actually see what you're doing. At the moment, you've seen the pictures of the surgeons. It's, it's heroic stuff, but it's also impossible to be trying to operate via lights from, from your phone. Um, clean water. For instance, our Shifa, their water tanks on their roof were destroyed, so they've got no clean water. Uh, how can you keep infection, do any kind of infection prevention? You know, How can you keep wounds clean if you don't have clean water? How can you even clean out all the awful injuries you know, that, uh, and how can you prevent infection? And of course, food. Remember again, thousands of people are sheltering in these hospitals and they're starving. So very basic things are desperately needed. And, and Dr. Harris, you've said in previous interviews, this humanitarian crisis doesn't compare to anything World Health Organization has responded to before. Talk to about why that is. We've never seen a situation where hospitals are unable to function. We've also never seen so many attacks on hospitals. We have documented more than 130 in just a few weeks. We've not seen that number, even in other places we, where we have seen horrific numbers of attacks on hospitals, such as in Ukraine. It's not, it's not been of this order. World Health Organization spokesperson, Dr. Margaret Harris, we thank you so much for your insight and, and your time. Thank you very much for hosting me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.